research that we're doing this summer is on the goldenrod gall fly goldenrod system. What we're trying to look at is the sort of influence that the fly's genetics have on the size of the gall that is formed when it parasitizes the plant. They'll basically create this gall right here, which basically gives them shelter and a nutrient-rich source of food. And then eventually the larva will become dormant until the summer when a fly will basically pop out and restart the cycle. When we find a gall at one of our sites, Abby uses uh, calipers to measure the diameter of the gall and that sort of gives us a good idea of its size. We have three sort of sites across KSR where we are bagging galls. So we're putting little sleeves on them just to exclude any other parasites that may lay their own eggs inside the gall. It'll provide a really good insight into genomics of the fly and the entire system. So we use this end to sort of suck up air and that brings the wasp or the fly down. It hits the filter so it doesn't go obviously all the way into our mouths. And then when we want to shoot it out, we just blow and it will shoot out. And it's a super uh, efficient as well as not harmful way to the bug to sort of remove them from these cages and put them into our vials for uh, later use.